everybody, and welcome to Mary's Corner. Guess who's with me today? It's Hello, everyone. Jack. I'm back. Well, as we know, it's the fall time, and everybody at this time of the year is going apple picking, and they're making pies and apple crisps. But I thought we'd do something different today. Joe, do you know what we're going to do? What is it? What is it? We are going to make apple strudel. Ooh. Mm, yummy, yummy, yum. And everybody who knows me, <laughs> did you see the light just go off there? We don't, we don't have ghosts in this house. It's just like Tristan and Hammy, but oh my goodness, that's crazy. But anyways, <laughs> let's continue. But anyways, yes. So um, I forgot what I was saying, but um, what I'm going to say is that, you know, we're going to make apple strudel. So let's just get going, everybody, okay? All right. All right, Joe, you ready? Yes, I am! Okay, we're going to first read the ingredients and the directions, and then we're going to show you how to do it, okay? So, Joe, can you read some of the ingredients? We'll take turns. Okay. Three large apples, peeled, cored, and cut into small chunks. Very good. And I'll read the next one. One tablespoon of corn flour or cornstarch. The next one, Joe? One teaspoon ground cinnamon. Ooh. And a pinch of ground nutmeg. Next, Joe? Pinch of salt. And I got the next one, which is a half a cup of light brown sugar. One fourth teaspoon of vanilla extract. Ooh. And we got seven sheets of ready rolled phyllo pastry. But when I was at the grocery store, you know how it's sometimes hard to get things on the shelves these days and they don't have what you're looking for. And so I ended up just getting puff pastry. So we'll see how it goes, everybody, okay? All right. And um, what is the next, Joe? One, um, a, a, a half a stick of unsalted, of unsalted butter melted in a single I mean, I mean, and, and slightly cooled. Ooh. Okay, so let's get going. So we first start off by preheating the oven to 400 degrees. And what we're going to do, I already sort of started this, but um, the next you're going to line your pan, okay, with a grease, grease proof paper. We're having a hard time talking today, but that's okay. We're just being silly. Anyway, so you line your cookie sheet or whatever you're going to use to cook with the paper. All right? All right. Next, you're going to place your chunks of apples, corn flour, cinnamon, nutmeg, salt, brown sugar, and vanilla heavy. extract into a large bowl, and you stir to cover all the apples in the sugar mixture. And then you leave to one side. So let's combine all the ingredients. As you can tell everybody, we have our apples chopped up. So now we're going to mix, mix up the ingredients. the summer I cannot believe how fast it went by you know um, time just goes by so fast and it's so hard to believe it's already fall time and you know like I said you know this is such a great time of year it's cooler and it's just pretty with the leaves changing colors and everything and um, I'm sure all of you will be probably going apple picking and making all kinds of great treats 
Over here in our area, we have this great fair that comes once a year. It's called the Big E, and it's it's just great um, because we're Northeastern people. Um, we have these state buildings, and of course, you know, you've got the Maine building, the Connecticut building, the Massachusetts building, and Rhode Island building, and it's just fun. I mean, you get all, you see all the great um, treats. You see the arts and crafts, the animals. It's just a fun thing. It's a great fall thing to do. And talking about that, what is your favorite thing to do at the Big E, Joe? Yeah. Eat. Yeah. Totally, yeah. <laughs> me too. Me too. We have this thing at the Big E called. The, uh, actually, they have great baked potatoes there. They're huge, and but they also have the cream puffs there. But we have this thing. It's from a stand there called Malicious, and they're donuts. But inside the donuts, glazed donut and it's stuffed with ice cream. There you go, and you can top it like you can have Oreo cookie Any crumbs or hot fudge. It's so so good. Yeah. That's my thing. I, if I get my baked potato and my donut, I'm a happy gal. But anyways, let's continue on with the recipe. Alright, alright. Joe, you did a great job. So over here, as you can tell, Joe used the uh, melted butter on here. Okay. So... Usually with the phyllo sheets, you you get seven sheets in a um, box like this, okay? And with each layer, you put you put the butter on, and you keep going over and over and over. But since we have these, have to use these. I think we're gonna be upside one down. Big one. <laughs> we're gonna just basically just do the one, fill it up. So now what we're gonna do now is we are going to put all the apple mixture. But we're going to actually just put it just like in a straight line here, everybody. Okay. 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 And we're going to just roll it up like a burrito, everybody. But you have to make sure that when you do this, that you have enough space just to close it, close it and fold it up. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping it's going to come out okay. This is the, I never really made apple strudel, so I am new to this, everybody. And especially if we don't have the file sheets, you know, I don't know how it's going to come out. I'm sure it's going to come out fine, but you know that sometimes, as you know, in cooking, it's all, you, sometimes you have to improvise with what you have. So now what we got to do is we're going to uh, brush the uh, pastry. We're going to basically brush it um, with the butter on top, everybody. Okay. Yay. Sides here too. Now we're gonna put it in the oven, everybody. And we're gonna just um basically what they're saying is that you're going to um at this point you're gonna cook it for 15 minutes at 400. And then after that, that's right, and yeah, you bake it for 15 minutes, and after 15 minutes, turn the oven down to 350. So you're going down 50 degrees. And cook for a further 15 to 20 minutes. Okay? And then once it's golden flaky, you remove it from the oven. And then after that, you let it cool for 30 minutes. And then you cut it to 8 to 10 slices. And you serve it ice cream, powdered sugar, or caramel sauce. And the apple strudel, Joe, you can keep it in an airtight container at room temperature for three days. And uh, so we're going to put this in the oven and then... A little while, we will show you the finished product. Okay, everybody? Hey, everyone. Here we are with the final product. Yes, we are. And as you can tell, it's a nice golden brown. It would have came out better with the follow. It would have been more flakier. But, you know, this is a very good substitute. And uh, like I said, sometimes with cooking, you have to improvise. But um, here we are with our apple strudel dessert. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So take care, everybody, and God bless. Bye-bye. God bless you. Bye. Bye.